Hello everyone and welcome to a live commentary. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a live commentary, so this means that I'm not going to be really editing this video much. It's just, just going to be me playing the game, talking about what I want to talk, and today I'm going to talk about the new XP system. Uh, so the punch cards. As, as you know, I like grind grinding. I'm already level 17. I've grinded a bit this season. I've already completed page 2, just for this emote, because I really like it. I don't really like the starting skin, but I definitely like this style of that skin. That is not what I wanted. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to talk about the punch cards, so I'll explain it when I get into the game. So punch cards are like the punch cards that we saw in Season 3 to... I mean, 3, 4, and yeah. It's like the punch cards we saw in Season 3 and 4. They are quests that give XP, obviously. But the only difference is these quests actually have stages on them. And all of the quests this season seem to have stages. So there's never always one quest. You always have multiple quests to do. Each of them evolving in rarity. So, for example, let's say I just accepted a quest from Penny. I'll have a challenge to, like, destroy enemy structures, and that would be great. Then I complete that one, I have this green one. Then I complete that, I get a blue one. Then an epic. Then a legendary. And it cycles up every single time, obviously legendary being the hardest and grey being the easiest. There are even some legendary challenges. There are even some quest lines that you can complete in one match. Craggy quest, the, cra the Penny one you can't doing one match because you have to go over here then to here then to there and there and then you have to play and then you need to dance next to an ally structure so there's zero percent chance but the quests honestly they're a bit weird well first of all you actually cannot hold more there's you cannot hold a lot of quests in this you can only hold a limited amount so obviously that's going to affect Oh my god, that's going to affect how much XP you get, because obviously if you don't have a lot of quests, you're not going to be getting as much XP. And that obviously means you're not going to be getting to 200 as fast as you normally would in other seasons. Mainly it doesn't affect really casual players, but I'm a grinder, I like to grind the challenges and stuff, so this mainly affects me. Matter of fact, you, if you, you guys as well, who also likes to grind. But, one thing I am noticing is that the challenges seem to be a lot easier this season. I'm not seeing many hard ones. Pistol SMG, I don't want that. Also, I'm in one of these no-building zones right now. Which is why I'm being careful as to what I do. No, I'm about to die right here. What? Oh, those guys explode on contact. They're all right. <laughs> I was so confused. Also, I would like to go over these zones really quick. These are where you find these zombies. Now, the zombies in the season are limited to the zones, so thank God they're not over the map. Even though I do like the zombies being on the map, I do like them being refined, but I would also like them if they were not refined. Basically, it's just up to preference. I like the zombies. I don't really think there's anything really bad with them. Except the exploding brute. I think that one's a little bit OP. That one, you need to nerf it so that it, it doesn't explode on contacts because, um, I died instantly. Also, they disabled the sideways rifts, which means she's current. They disabled the sideways, sideways rifts, which means she's currently. A few challenges are actually impossible to do. Which is a de annoying, but yeah. Also, I may go over the fact we have daily and weekly punch cards. Now, these punch cards are supposed to help you get XP if you do not have much good easy, easy quests to do. Some of these include completing punch cards, spending bars, just playing with friends, or just completing quest lines from people, or just completing quests altogether. The daily quests refresh every day at um, about 3 p.m. my time. So, I don't know what time that is for you, but 
For me, it's just free PM. And these will give you free quests, and if you don't complete them, I don't think you'll get the XP, but... I'll definitely recommend doing them. You can get a lot of XP. Sometimes you can actually get more XP from doing the daily ones than doing actually challenging the actual challenge ones. Which is nice. Now, obviously... It's not a good idea to land at these locations, by the way, because you can get completely annihilated. Like me, I don't have a gun. I'm going to die. They just spawn in. Wee! Like this guy, he's going to kill me because. All right, so again with the quest lines. These are the main punch cards. These are the punch cards that will give the most XP if completed. And as you can see, you can pin the location to map where they are. So if we ping the brat. We can see that he's over here. If we pin Dark Josie, we can see he's a steamy. If we pink, ping Farple Sparklemane, you can see she's over here. Why again? What? Do I have copyright music off? Music. All right, look good. All right. So the zombies will spawn in corny, I mean not in corny cops, they will spawn in these red bubbles and they will also spawn in rifts which have currently been disabled due to glitches that are happening with them. So this time I'm going to land but I'm going to try and be more strategic. I'm trying to get a challenge done this one. Currently this location, currently these bulbs are the only way to um, do them. Also there's Kevin. We can talk about, he's not really a challenging, he's not really a challenge. But you, we can talk about the stuff that are consumable related. Of course you still have legacies in the game but they don't give XP anymore. Probably because there's no quest to actually complete legacies, so they won't actually. Alright, okay. Okay! Bye. I think it's good if I, um. You can scan that and I know where the chests are. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god, it's out of use! <laughs> Alright, abandon ship. Let's get out of corny. <laughs> oh, there's one here. Alright, we can see the outside. Alright. I definitely want a weapon. Alright. So obviously these locations are going to be packed, so you need to be careful when you're going to them. But... Oh yeah, also the recon's kind of still in the game. Um, so you can see there's the mushroom NPC over there. They have the quests, and you can... The cool thing is you can actually redo these quests after you've completed them. At the phone booths, you can find these quests at the phone booths, and if you accept it, it will give you the full quest line. I'm not sure if completing the quest line again will give you XP or give you gold, because I've not really seen a necessarily NPC, M, M, I mean XP boost after completing these, but that just may be me. So, would still recommend being careful. All right. Join move! Yeah. Nope, just zombies. Seriously. Get him, zombies! Anyway, <laughs> one thing I should note is that Team Rumble has its own set of quests that you can do, but these ones don't really. I don't seem to get XP from them, I seem to get um, gold. But still, they're really fun to do because they mostly revolve around the weapons that you find in Team Rumble. And also, if you don't get XP, it's still a really good way to grind gold. Because you can get like 40, 50, 60 gold from some of these quests. It's really fun. Also the weekly ones. I would definitely recommend doing them. Because they are... 
very useful for getting XP and if they do what they did last season and pretty much all other seasons beyond that I mean behind that and they give us new quests every week there's gonna be a lot of XP you can get So yeah, here's another one of those zones at Craggy. I also have another challenge at Craggy, so I might go there. But, that's a high mothership. Uh, yeah, one thing you'll notice is that um, there aren't many quests to do. Because, like, if you remember last season, we had the blue quests. And the blue quests, they gave us a good chunk of XP for doing stuff. I, what I would do every season is I would land Caddy Corner, and I'd pick up all the fruits and I'd start ma mass eating them. Because it would give you a lot of XP, because there's, like, seven different challenges for, um, doing it. There were seven different challenges for completes for eating like consumables. There was some eating mushrooms, eating bananas, apples, corn, cabbage, and there was even one just by eating consumables on their own. So it was a good way to get some XP. But the thing is is that now that we don't have that it's kinda really hard. It's really hard to get like XP now. Also, these bubbles, I would not recommend going in them and landing in them directly. I'd definitely recommend looting up before. You'd like to get a few pieces of shield because most likely you won't be able to heal at all in that zone. So you definitely want to get a shield potion or at least a blue weapon. Any reason I'm doing this is for this challenge. I only need to eight more damage with a sideways weapon and then I can. Alright. So one thing I'm going to test, can you build insides to the sideways and camp up there? Because obviously you can break builds in the sideways, so if this works, it's not going to be necessarily that game breaking. It just means I'll have a good like vantage point. And even if it doesn't work, I can just jump into the sideways. So can you build into the sideways? I don't think I have the mats, no. I was close though. If I get one more like build, I could do it, so I'm gonna risk it here. I'm gonna risk this for the, the thing. Also that also for some reason there's an issue where my game lags every time I can oh Yoink! <laughs> bah -ha! <laughs> Do you welcome visitors? <gasps> Sideways minigun. All right, I need I need to get one kill with this thing. I mean, just some damage. Can I get at least some? Yes. All right. I don't care if I lose the spite anymore, as long as I got that challenge done. All right. There we go. All right. Thank God. All right. No, actually, I'll take my chances. The thing about these sideways weapons, they're not necessarily good for eliminating players, but they are good for, like, getting yourself protected in case, like, I don't know, somebody sneak attacks you. Here, now you can see, eliminate cube monsters in the sideways. This is quite a necessarily easy challenge. Also, there's one to hunt wild, hunt wildlife, and there's, um... I must say, these um, brutes do give good XP if you are looking to grind. Oh yeah, the game and the game like lags. Also, on the sideways, um, you can't actually destroy the cube spawners. But one thing I do have to say, you can use these. Um, oh god. Um, I would like to move. You can use these like zombies to your help, actually, because they can like really. They're gonna show you what other players are. Hmm. Oh 
now on it. Is she outside the sideways? Yeah, she is. Okay. And that is how you steal a kill, folks. Yeah, some of these zombies have high health, by the way. You really want to be careful when you're taking them on. And some of them have, like, those abilities where they can, um... Oh, yeah, you can also upgrade these things. You can upgrade them and then they do more damage. Ah, they didn't even hit me. You can upgrade these guys to Mythic, actually. You can upgrade them all the way to Mythic. Which is really cool, because the Mythic ones seem to be really effective. But the thing about getting them to Mythic is you do need a lot of these fragments. And obviously, the only way to get these fragments is to kill them or get them from the chest, so... I mean, it's good. I mean, you can kill these zombies for shields. I mean, they do give shields like the old cube monsters in Chapter 1. But it's not really like that effective. Also, you can't build in here, like I said already. So, oh my god, we completed three challenges then. Complete a sideways encounter. Was that the challenge that she had, and I completed it already? Oh yeah, we did that one too. And also, just fighting these zombies all over overall—they're just really fun. It's just really fun to do. Not gonna lie, I actually love the zombies. I know, controversial topic, cancel me if you want. You can try anyways. You can have a massive, have a massive Twitter rant. But I actually really love the zombies. Oh, oh yeah, and we also have the mega boots. Um, there are three of these guys. Which is why yeah, I would recommend getting a few heals before you even fight these guys. Alright, I think there was a medkit over here. If not, then we are screwed. Alright, we have a medkit. Aha! Alright, now one thing I'm going to try is grenading them. I'm going to try mass grenading. Alright, now that's been dealt with. Let's, um... No, I do not want to do that. I want to sideways minigun. Oh my god, they can actually break that! Oh god. Alright, let's get Mythic sideways minigun and let's fight these guys then. Haha! -ha! Come at me now, boys! Come at me now! I don't have a good spraying weapon, to be fair. Well, I have this, but... Alright, let's get the first zombie, f the first boss. Alright. That gave some pretty good loot. Alright, that one's dead. Alright, we need to start... We're gonna kill this one, and then we have to heal up immediately after. Alright, let's heal up, let's heal up, let's see. So we killed all three cube monsters, what does that mean? I've actually never done this before, so... Yeah. Let's see what we get. Alright, so we got one of these sideways rifles. I think the sideways rifles are guaranteed to get. Or the sideways weapons, anyways. I don't really see what happened. I got, like, a good amount. Yeah, I got, like, 47 of them. So I could make, like, a good sideways rifle. Because I have to admit, I love the sideways rifle and the sideways minigun. This thing is so cool. Hey buddies. Yeah, you also get a lot of, yeah, I said already, you get a lot of shield from this too, so. Well anyways, let's go to zone. Oh no, we're gonna die to zone, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> I should have maybe checked the zone before I tried to keep grinding zombies. <laughs> Our only chance is if we can find heals along the way, or Jesus gives us the wheel. 
Come on! I don't know what that is, I'm not taking my chances if it's not a med kit. Beep! Beep, beep, coming through. Alright, so the sideways is a good way to get some weapons, not gonna lie, but the only problem is actually getting the sideways to yourself to be able to actually grind those weapons, because this is gonna take a while, like a few minutes, to grind to these good weapons. Especially the mythic ones. The mythic ones are gonna take a while. Actually, I should speak now. This is the how the, um, the pay payphone works. Like, let's get, um, this one. And we have quest space, so we can get it. But if you don't have spe quest space, basically you have four quest spaces, or five, I think. I'm pretty sure, it yeah, it's five, actually. Or four. I'm pretty sure it's four, but I'm not sure. You can only have four at a time. And if, so if you cross that limit, you're going to have to replace one of your quests just to get that one. Or you can not grab it at all and just keep your current quests. So in my opinion, it's mainly just a choice between um, which ones you want to choose and which ones you want to stay with. So, I mean, you could grind the same quests over and over again, but I'm not sure. I'm actually going to say this. Oh my god, I did not know that you were here. Look, bro. I'm really low. I'm really low, so let's just, um, yeah, let's grab this taxi, and yeah, let's be on our way. Oh my god. Why does this have to be the slowest escape ever? I seriously do not have time for this. I seriously do not. I have the mats, I guess, but no heels. I'm gonna die to zone, aren't I? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna die no matter what. It didn't matter what happens. So obviously she's gonna take the mythics because why wouldn't she? Is she gonna take the minigun? No, I think she's actually taking the blue AR over. Yeah, she's taking the normal guns over the wings. So that's another thing. Um, it's all about your own personal choice, obviously, because obviously if you don't like the guns you don't have to use them unless you have to use them for a challenge which in case go ahead bro there have been a times there has been times where i have had to use guns i do not like for challenges mainly like the sweaties guns but yeah consuming fish and meat and a meat in a single match that might be hard so i might need to land some of that but anyways the final reward for the battle pass is, of course, Venom. I mean, Carl <laughs> I called it Venom, God damn it! It's from the movie of Venom, so I'm thinking it's Venom. No, it's Carnage. Get mad at me, Marvel fans. <laughs> anyway, I really like Carnage, especially with the new Venom movie coming out. I've had a few looks at the Venom movie, um, the first Venom movie, because I don't really watch any films at all. I really like it. I saw the scene where Carnage fought Venom. Carnage did put up a good fight. As as Venom said, that guy has got stuff you've never seen. But anyways, the final reward of the battle pass is Carnage. So this is the whole reason you're grinding out this battle pass. For Carnage. So anyways, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I'm not good with intros or outros. Both, and I'll see you later.